Monterey has a long tradition of language training. Uh, the Language Institute was established uh, based on the need during World War II to have uh, Japanese language instructors uh, here. Out of that grew the Defense Language Institute and over the years the, the Institute has grown to about 1100, 1200 teachers that are teaching a variety of languages. Our students initially are Department of Defense service members. They come from all the different branches of the military. Uh, as volunteer citizens, a lot of them have recently come from basic training. Uh, as military members, they come from throughout the United States, very diverse. We have uh, young service members, but we've also got careerists who've returned back for advanced language training as well as officers for advanced training. Our, our instructors and faculty come from around the world, uh, from over 90 different countries. As a language training uh, facility that trains in 17 different languages, we have linguists uh, instructors from over 90 countries that come here to Monterey uh, to support that training institute. We teach language to a very high proficiency level, uh, near native proficiency and we teach it in a very short period of time. It's a very intense class, very uh, difficult academically, uh, and part of that is to learn about the culture because you really can't operate at high levels in a language unless you understand the culture. How can you understand the humor, read between the lines, uh, understand current political affairs? What are the, some of the tensions and challenges in that region politically, uh, geopolitically? What I've observed is that they really enjoy that aspect of learning. There's no better military base than Monterey. It's so beautiful here. There's so much to do, um, at least stateside. It absolutely cannot be beat. Um, that being said, I think they probably put it here because they knew you, they were gonna work you really, really hard. But when I say that, it's absolutely in the best way. We knew coming in there was gonna be a lot of homework, that there were gonna be probably some late nights, but it is the best experience. There, is nowhere else in the world, aside from actually in a foreign country where you can sit in class 24 seven almost, I mean, it feels 24 seven, um, and learn a new language. And I had a teacher say to me, she said, this is not foreign language acquisition, this is second language acquisition. And there's probably no place in the world that does it better than DLI. It is a unique uh, location for military where we can bring these students from all over the United States to. Uh, Monterey is a great place, has lots to do for the students. Uh, we put a lot of stress on these students as they're learning this language here for 15 months. And so Monterey provides them a great atmosphere uh, where they can go and, and explore and see and do different things to relax. Even walking down on Cannery Row or Fisherman's Wharf, you will hear 15, 20 different languages being spoken all around you. There are so many people here that are come from different parts of the world and partially I'm sure that's due to DLI. There are lots of teachers that are foreign nationals. And having the, that here is an amazing experience. I think there's nowhere else in the world that I've been where you hear so many languages so highly concentrated. I definitely think Monterey has earned the title of language capital of the world. The mission of the DLI is extremely important for the United States because it helps uh, the armed services to prepare their soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines to speak native languages for those areas of interest uh, where the U.S. has troops operating. Uh, there's no other institution in the United States who provides this intense language training for uh, a specialized group of people. Uh, the students are here anywhere between six to, uh, I believe, 12 months, and they immerse completely into the language. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the interesting data points are that more than 80% of all language degrees that are awarded in the United States of America are awarded at the Defense Language Institute. 
So Language Day is a neat event that DLI hosts every year in the spring. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to open our doors uh, to the, the local community and, and highlight the diversity of our instructors as well as our students. It gives our students an opportunity to get out, uh, to speak in the language, to dance, to highlight some of the food and the culture that they've uh, been able to learn over the time here. And then it allows us the opportunity to combine all of that into one big setting and allow the, the local community to better understand what we do. There are typically somewhere around 50 uh, cultural demonstrations and dances. Uh, we do classroom uh, demonstrations where you can go in and learn what it's like to be in the first couple days of Chinese or to get a a Russian oral proficiency interview. If you've never been to Language Day, come next year and experience it yourself because you won't regret it. I think we bring the world here on the stage um, with so many performances from, from far east to far west, uh, all on one stage. I've not seen so many cultures on one stage on one day. We have thousands of people coming, coming in, even the children, they're in awe looking at the performances where they're exposed to different cultures as well which means that um, maybe in future they would like to be a linguist for instance and it also helps to to have the tolerance to have the acceptance uh, and to have the understanding of different cultures Perhaps I might not be able to travel to that part of the world, but it, it comes onto the stage. I learn about the performance, I learn about what the dance is about, what the song is about, and I pick up so many cultures in that one day. The community of our city as well as the whole region is benefiting from the Defense Language Institute. Um, the teachers, the students live in our community, they live in our uh, neighborhoods and they are part of, of our multicultural diverse DNA helping us to uh, become a better community, opening us up for other cultures. It is uh, for us a very integral element of our community to have the DLI teachers, their children, as well as the DLI students here in the middle of our community. I often say that our best calling card are our students. If you meet them in the street, downtown Monterey, or if you're here in the classroom or just walking around the post, they are our best calling card. You really feel better about the place where this country is when you meet uh, our young men and women that are here taking language courses.